morning guys welcome to today's video i am on the little camera because we are headed shopping we are going shopping we need food <laughs> we need groceries not just all about horses it's about people too em and i were headed to uh, the grocery store and then after we'll be picking up sophie sophie is gone she left us last night it was very sad she slept at elizabeth's house you guys know elizabeth her friend so we're gonna go and get food and then we'll be back i have some stuff to show you in the barn and also it is way too hot for the horses to be out in this heat it is such a heat wave that we are going through the horses are sweating eating grass this morning so we changed it around their routine a bit and they'll go out longer after the sun goes down a bit because it is scorching horses and heat is crazy but you just gotta keep going on just gotta adjust and adapt your schedule and the way you do things and i'm so fortunate that we can chino is chilling in his stall with a with a fan so i was able to get all these carrots today they were a dollar four for each bag, a dollar four. When I was buying them, there was an older man there at the at the place where they were for sale, and he's like, "Oh, don't buy them. They have little brown spots on them." And I said, "Oh, well, those are perfect for horses." And he said, "I'm not gonna buy a horse just so I can buy rotten carrots." <laughs> and I said, "Good choice." We need to do like a huge cleanup in our barn, in our in our tack room, to be honest. Take a bite. Oh my goodness. Chino. Oh my gosh. That is not safe. What the heck? The horses spent a lot of time together. <laughs> Look at that. But hello, Miss Greasy. You want to give them a kiss? Mwah. <laughs> She's like, I will just have a bite of that carrot. Take a bite. We are a biting family. Oh, yes. And then a bite for you, too. A bite. Yes. And there's yours. I gotta give Willow one. Willow's like, what about me? Oh, bite it. Bite it. Good girl. We have civilized horses. <laughs> That's a girl. Oh, it's a hard one, I know. I got these on sale for you, Penny. They're Gracie. I don't like it when they don't let Gracie share. Oh, good girl. One for you. One for you. And Willow has hers. So uh, Sam I took the stairs down yesterday so that we could have more room. Now with Chino home temporarily, we decided to make some like changes to our barn. And he took the stairs down and we're gonna try and figure out like how to change things up a bit. Anyways, I wanted to show you this really quick. Sam put it up, he got this online, he ordered it. Wow, it works. This is the thing that works the best out of all the things we've tried. It's disgusting. You guys see it? He hung it here because he saw flies in Chino's stall today. It's the first time he's really, oops. He's actually had flies in his stall and he doesn't want them to be bothered. So we have Chino kind of like on sort of stall rest. Look at him out with his hair like that, with his mane or with his forelock long and pushed over to the side. He literally looks like this handsome young boy. Don't you Chino? Boom. Hi. Did you see the um, fly thing Dad put up? Yeah. That's super cool, huh? So what's the plan for Chino? Do you want to tell them what actually is wrong with him? Like why he's still on partial stall rest and partial running around the arena chasing, chased by girls? No. So he had an abscess. Yeah. And he also had a tiny stone bruise. He has a tiny stone bruise. So we're just like watching him, making sure he's okay. He seems pretty much recovered. <laughs> he's like, turn on my fan. Give me coffee. Does he look handsome though? Like he actually looks so handsome and he seems happy. Chino's one of those horses that likes the stall. Although he says, get me out now. He also really likes his fan. Today is one of those days that is so hot outside. It's not fit for man or for beast. So we're gonna improvise and do something that we don't usually do. Go to a festival or something? Yeah, we're gonna go to a festival. We're gonna like live like we're people without horses. Did you hear what the guy said to me at the grocery store? I went to buy these carrots that I'm were at home. How could I possibly hear? True. So I said he said to me, Don't buy these. They have little brown spots on them. And I said, Well, those are perfect for horses. And he said, I'm not gonna buy a horse just so I could buy rotten carrots. And I said, Good choice. <laughs> 
Also, the reason that Gabby's wearing a hoodie in this extreme heat is because in our house we have air conditioning and it gets cold. Even at night when I go in and I'm not being outside anymore for the day, I put on warm pajamas because it's actually cold in our house. All right, so I just want to update you guys. I just want to update you guys on our broody chicken. I showed you guys like not long ago, like a month ago, that our chicken just wants to have babies. This is what she has done ever since we've had her. This is all she wants to do all the time is have babies. So when we got the little silky chicken, I decided I wanted to hatch some silky eggs. And so we let her have some eggs. So then we ended up with this problem where every single day the silky would lay eggs. And then I couldn't take any eggs. Like I didn't know which ones were the ones she laid first and which ones are the ones that she recently laid. Does that make sense? Like. How do you take an egg when they all look the same? You can't ever take them. So now I'm gonna show you. So now underneath this chicken are 14 baby silky eggs, 14 of them. Who knew a silky could lay that many eggs? And if I don't want baby chickens coming out my you know what, then I need to find a way to mark the ones that have already been laid and she's already been laying on so that I can take the ones that don't have a mark. So Sam suggested that I bring a Sharpie out and I mark all the eggs. So I mark them one to 14 so that tomorrow when I come out and there's an egg with no number, I know that that is a recent egg, one that's not been laid on for a while that doesn't have a baby chicken there so I can take it. So we're gonna have possibly 14 baby chickens soon. Obviously we'll sell them because we don't need any more baby chicks, especially at this time of the year. It's better to have baby chickens early in the season so they can grow and get bigger before the cold comes. But get ready, because we're about to have baby chicks. We are at Rib Fest, Sam and I, and we got ribs. We've never been to Rib Fest before, even though they always have it here in the summer. So this is our first time, and the heat wave is so bad that I saw a young girl pass out and people have to come and help her. Like, it is so scary to watch that. No, is it good? Yeah? Mmm, so good. All right, that was fun. That was the first time we ever been. We had a date night, date afternoon. We're headed to pick up Sophie now from bowling. She went bowling with her friend. Uh, but Sam and I went to Red Fest, Rib Fest. I think the idea is that you're supposed to get ribs from each place and then decide which one you like best. We just went to one but because you can only eat one. Yeah, that's a lot of ribs. There's a lineup in each one, so yeah. So, anyways, it was so good though, so good. It was amazing. It's so hot out, you guys. I would say honestly, this is the first real heat wave that we've had. Like we've had, and that we had, we had another heat wave, and I didn't find it that hot. I run cold though, like I always am cold. And this one though is so bad, like it's supposed to cool off in a couple of days, but so hot I saw a young girl pass out and it was so sad, like it was awful. Anyway, we're headed to pick up Sophie and then we're gonna go someplace else and have fun. Oh, also I wanna tell you guys that when we went in there we had to get arm bracelets so that we could prove that we were of age <laughs> for drinking, but we didn't drink. And then also I had to empty my whole purse and show that I didn't have any food and I had a granola bar. I had to throw my granola bar in the garbage, but I only keep it in there in case somebody's like low blood jigger or starving and I I wasn't even planning on eating it. But anyway, yeah, like it was top notch security in there. All right, Sophie and I have something to tell you, some miracle thing that we just figured out today. So basically this is little Miss Millie. Yeah. Little Miss Millie on my lap. Look how cute she is. Anyways. If you play music, Sophie, to chickens, what happens? If you play music for chickens, what happens? Roosters love it. <laughs> roosters love it. And that, my friends, is a little rooster. If you're trying to figure out if your baby chickens are roosters or hens, all you gotta do is go out there and play music. The girls just keep on pecking the ground and the boys puff right up, stand up tall, and start crowing. Well, he, he doesn't. He doesn't crow yet. So yeah, you, they gotta kind of be crowing age, but you can still tell because they just go crazy for music. But our rooster was just crowing away. I want him to jump off you. All right, jump off me. <laughs> Don't you know that you're beautiful?